Welcome to Be Adventurous. My name is Brianna and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Keychain Tutorial Series. This is episode two and on this episode we are making keychain bees. Your bees can be made in any color. I like to add a regular black and yellow is my go-to but I recently got this tone of yellow and I've been making some bees from this as well. I've made purple bees, blue bees, any color bees you'd want. You are going to need a black color of choice. I usually use this brunette color of yellow. I am using a brunette mystical color right now. I forget the name of it. A pair of scissors, tapestry needle. I use a 6.5 millimeter hook for the body. And then recently for the wings, I have been using a size smaller. This way you can get a nice look in the wing because I crochet it in a circle. This way it's not like a hole in the middle. You will need 12 millimeter sized safety eyes. Also need just a little bit of white yarn for the eyes and the wings. I use this needle nose pliers for the keychains because you will also need a keychain if you would like to hook onto your plushie. But it is optional, so if you don't want to use the keychain, that is just fine. Without the keychain, you will just have a cute little mini plush, so that's okay if you don't want to add or don't have any keychains. Shall we get started on our B? Let's go! Starting with our choice of yellow, let's get our yarn started here. Chain two. And for our first row here, we're gonna work six in the second chain from hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull our tail just a little. And for the second row here, I'm going to increase in each stitch around. So 12, one, two, that's our first increase. And what I like to do is hold the tail up until roughly your six count. And then when we get there, I like to pull it tight just a little so that way we can close our centerpiece here. Three. So we're getting the second stitch here. Three, four, five, six. And we can let go of that tail if you'd like. Sometimes I go to this count where it's seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and in this third round, we are going to go up to an eighteen count. So single, increase, single, increase, all the way around. Single, increase. So one, two, three, single is four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, once you have 18 stitches around, pull that tail to make sure it's extra tight. Just don't pull too hard. 
otherwise the yarn will snap so you want to try to get that round round circle here but flat enough because this will be the front of your bee you don't want a pointy nose bee i mean it's gonna be a little something risen but it's not pointy For the next round, this is going to be the start to our middle section, as you see here. So we are going to start with single crochet in each stitch around 18 times here with just the yellow first, and then we are going to switch to black and I'll show you the color changing. I do make them a little rigid. Um, if you would like, a lot of people will end the round with a slip stitch and then chain one and continue continue on to the next round i'll usually go all the way around continuously within that circle rather than slip stitching to end a row i single crochet on to the next row so single crochet 18 around one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven And when you're on that last count of 18, you're not going to do that last wrap around and pull through because this is where we're going to color change to our black. So go, go ahead and grab your black color. There we are. And what you're going to want to do is use that black to be that wrap around and pull through. So instead of using that other color to do finish that 18 we're going to use the black and then we are starting our next round here 18 single crochet all the way around and i like to hold the ends of those last two to make it more of a secure hold and you're just going to single crochet in that next row single first one here and then go on to your 18 around well 17 so two three, four, and you're going to do that all the way around. Single crochet all the way around. Alright, once you get to 18 all the way around in that black color, you'll crochet one more to connect more of these blacks. Otherwise, it's more of like a thinner row of that black right in that section. And personally, I don't mind having that little more chunky black. And it's on the bottom. So attaching the yellow, you're going to wrap around and pull through and this is already technically our first single crochet in that first round so one two we're gonna single crochet 18 all the way around again
Now that we are 18 all the way around, you are going to do that first single crochet in the next round. And complete it with your black as a color change. And single crochet 18 all the way around. So you already have your one, two, three. Now that we are 18 all the way around, you're going to single crochet in that first in the next round and finish off your single crochet with your yellow. And at this point, we can cut off the end of our black because at this point, we are done using the black. Goodbye, black. You can leave a little tail just to add with the stuffing or you can also tie it to another loose end within if you choose. Side note, also in this row we are actually single crocheting not as many of the, the next color um, because as you see we started single crocheting around here. So the color chains do look a little shifted, but if you were to follow the stitches up, this would be the actual like last stitch. So we are going to finish our yellow right here, which is about 15. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, it's actually 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that will be the completion of like the five rounds of 18 right here because this is our last round where it was 18 and we single crocheted around and in the next stitch you're going to start the closing of the B because we ended our row right here we're going to start that row of decreases so you're going to single crochet and decrease within those last two black colors so that way the shape isn't all like wobbly but if you cho chose to complete your rounds by slip stitch you would probably have this shifted and it would match up more correctly but if you do it this way you will have to start that round with some black so single crochet and decrease and repeat that around so you get 12 ending with 12 single crochet all the way around one two three Four, five, six, seven, and at this point, at this point, I just remembered I didn't add stuffing to the materials. Now that we have stuffing, let's add our safety eyes. So I like to match this up as like the bottom. And I look at it this way. And I'll do two rows out, roughly, let's see, 
This I'd actually just do one row out. Let's match it up, see what's going on. All right, so roughly eight apart is like the comfortable count I like. You can move your eyeballs in whichever row and whatnot that you like. Let's get some backs to fasten it. Let's secure the eyeballs. Next, let's stuff our bee up. Right now I just bought a pillow from Walmart, but I recently bought some pillows that were pretty decent from St. Vinny's for a dollar, and I got a lot of stuffing that way. There's so many different ways to get your stuffing, and sometimes I use little yarn pieces within. Um, to reuse those scraps rather than throwing them all away or something. But getting your bee stuffed the way you like, let's continue on to this next round. And we are going to be decreasing all the way around. Decreasing one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three. Use slip stitch, fasten off. Leave a little baby tail so that way we can close it up. I will then add just some more stuffing at the end so that way we can get the butt part of the bee here stuffed up too. Don't be afraid to play around with it because, like, it is a plushie so. You at Ken Plush it. Alright, now we're going to sew close our bee. And I will usually grab those first loops closest to you. Front loop only. And pull up around so that way we can close her up. And we'll usually go right through the middle. Pull her through somewhere in your bee. And use your tapestry needle to shape your butt of your bee a little more. And also to help hide your end piece in your plush. Here we go. We got the bee to our body. Or the body to our bee. Now, let's add the wings. And now that we're done with the stuffing, we are bringing in the white. And our smaller hook. This is a size H, but roughly a 5mm hook that I use for the wings. And having your little edge pieces here, you're using that as your bottom. I will usually follow up in the middle here, roughly around here, I would say, for this B. You're going to find a middle chain or single crochet, and you're going to go horizontally through it. As you see here, your hook should find its way throughout and 
you're going to slip stitch your white on to your bead chain and here we are going to chain two so it's gonna be our first wing chain two one two and working in this second chain from hook single crochet eight eight or six so I did I did six on these but sometimes I do eight so let's do six one two three four five six and then we kind of twist our bee around and we are going to slip stitch through this the opposite direction we just slip stitch to start And here's our first wing. If you need to pause or slow it down, go feel free to pause, stop, like anything you need to do. Um, I will, I do have the text up above so that way you can stop it and just read like the pattern that way. Um, but let me know down in the comments below. I just want to hear your feedback and that way I can tweak it a little more to the way you guys like it. But working on our second wing, we are going to do the same as chain two. And then working in that second chain from hook, you are going to single crochet six in the same hole there. One, two, three. Five. And then for the last six, I usually go like across just to help shape the wings and single crochet that last six, just so that way the wings are in the formation that we're going to need them. And then that last slip stitch, we're going to do it back horizontally, kind of like the way we did it when we started, but you're going to go behind this wing and come up and slip stitch. Make sure to leave a tail and snip sh snipper. It's going to look a little rough right now because we have to hide our tails. But you get the gist of it already shaping into those wings that we're looking for. Bringing back our tapestry needle here. Let's do that. Let's hide these ends. For this one specifically, I kind of just will pull it through to some random spot within the body. But this longer end... Kind of play it through where necessary let's let's wrap it hmm, maybe around this way it's really about how you still need shaping to it um so for this let's go th around and through to this side but i do see that this is kind of like lifted weird here so let's go around Kind of work with it. Just go down the middle to the other side here. Honestly, it's okay if it's not a specific like direction or nothing, but I do like them either facing up or forward and kind of just let them be how they're gonna be, but this be. But this is roughly how they do come out for me. This is a recent way I've been doing them. 
like crocheting them on for a more efficient way to add the wings otherwise you can single crochet like like we did when we started this you can single crochet six around as a circle then slip stitch and just sew those on as single wings i've done those before but this way it works just as great All right, one final touch here. We have to add that beautiful little eye detail. Something about it I just need to add every time. I have tried doing some bees like this recently and I was just not for it. I just needed to add that white. It gives them their personality. So what I'll do Cut off a little bit of a section here of your white. You can do roughly like a foot. This seems like roughly eight inches or so, seven to eight. Um, however much you need when you, you're only going between these two eyes and around them. So like you don't need a very long piece, but whatever you need to kind of make it feel right for you. But let's get personal here with this B and what we're going to do is start somewhere else in the body close by the eyes and you're going to pull your tapestry needle up kind of on that edge as you see i usually will add them three-fourths of the eye but more on the right or left depending on the side of the eye too many fluffs so coming up from this side here, oh, whatever happens, it's okay. Just put your yarn through tapestry needle again. Leave a little tail for knotting later. And we're gonna come around, kind of like right above underneath here. Sometimes it's hard to get because it likes to go above a stitch. So if you can get it, Roughly around here. We're just kind of giving that white eye around look. And you are going to have to play with it a little bit to get it to your liking. Because it is a detail and it takes, it takes time to add your details. Starting on our other eye. Because this is the other side of the eye, we're going to work on this four, three-fourths of the half here. Starting around here. Pulling through our white. And ending, ending roughly around here. Your tapestry needle is a great help to shaping this around your eyes, so please use your tapestry needle because that's going to be your best friend and that's probably why mine's looking the way it's looking. But here we are. All we have to do yet is tie these ends. Use your tapestry needle to tuck them in. Get rid of those little fluffies. And here is our mini bee. Voila! Let's take a little look before we add our little keychain because we are not done. This is our keychain tutorial, right? You need to add a keychain. Realized I should have added one in the last video. If you want to go check out the first episode of this series, it is a leggy frog. If you want to learn how to make a mini leggy frog, all right, time for the heavy lifting. We need to add our keychain.
All right. I uh, usually get my keychains from Amazon. I get a pretty big hundred or so pack of them. And what I do here is I hold it like this on my pliers. See if you can see it. Yeah. And that's how I hook it in the yarn. And I'll do it right before. It's all about balance with keychains. So you're going to want to place it in a place that when you're hanging it, slash when you're lifting it up and looking at it, you know, you have the, the level. The B is level, it's sitting level. It's because it's different, different plushies, you need it in different areas. With depending on the weight of your plushie and where the heaviest side is. But because this bee is mostly all the same weight, I put it roughly in the middle here and within those yellow stitches. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get a good chunk. So let me see if I can come back up here. Look at this. Here we go. All right. And then you're gonna grab your other part of your keychain. There's different versions out there, so whatever you use should be just fine. These are the ones oh, I cannot do this. Dude. Hello. I don't stand up and do this. Okay, here we go. We're adding the keychain now. And then I will squeeze this part. If I can get to it. Try to squeeze it or closed. And what do you do after you do that? You kind of hide her around. Make sure she's underneath, not exposed. But I like to make sure she is closed up. So whenever a kid goes around and is all excited about their bee, their bee does not fall off. So here we are. And here we are. We have completed our first crocheted bee. Keychain. Let me know down in the comments below where are you going to put your keychain? Is it going to school with you? Going to the office? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more cuties on the weekly I'm crocheting just about daily. This is episode 2 of our keychain tutorial series. Come back in the next week or two and you will see episode 3 for our next keychain tutorial. Thanks for watching and as always, be adventurous.